Previously, on Demon's Souls, Beyond Two Swords. Let's do this. Oh no, that wasn't a summon. Oh, the rats. Oh god, the rats. Look, saint's equipment. That's odd. What would a saint be doing in here? No, no push. Ho ho ho! No, no. Woo hoo hoo! Well, hello, woman who happens to be half island. Huh. Oh god! Now the real question is, do we go back for my souls? There! My bloodstain! There we go! Hey everyone! How are you all doing today? I am the Perpetual Noob, and welcome back to episode 18 of Demon's Souls Beyond Two Swords. So we are currently in the second area of the Valley of Defilement. Last episode, we cut down the Moonlight Greatsword. Well, technically the Greatsword of Moonlight. Whatever, that's the Demon Souls version. And it's sitting, yeah, actually, like right there. Hang on, if I can even... If I can remember how to use the bow. Oh, I did remember how to use the bow. It's sitting right there. Look at that. Just amongst all of these slugs. That's okay. We can deal with this. We'll drop back down, and we will... Whoa, ho, ho. Ha. Fell down a little further than I wanted to. Anyway, we'll go pick it up. We're never even going to use it, but we'll pick it up because we did all that work to get it. And darn it, we're going to go get it. So, this is episode 18, probably the last episode of uh, this playthrough, of this Beyond Two Swords playthrough. Specifically, oh, jeez, oh, oh, gosh, they're getting on me. Uh, and what do I mean by that? I mean that I'm going to get murdered by these slugs. No, that this will probably be the last, like, kind of story episode. You know, like, the next time you see this character will probably be once I have both Northern Regalias completed and finished. You know, my character will be at soul level 120, all ready for the PvPs. Yeah, uh, a little bit, it's... I'm not gonna, not gonna show, unless something really epic happens, I'm not really gonna have anything ready to go for the New Game Plus playthrough. There probably won't be any footage from that. A little bit uh, for my own sanity and a little bit of just because it would be repetition, you know, just be a repeat of what we've done here. You know, yeah, enemies will hit a little bit harder, obviously, in New Game Plus. But, that's the plan. Hopefully, hopefully y'all don't mind. You won't mind, into, you know, waiting just a little while to see this guy ready for PvP time. PvP prime time. Goodness, there are a whole shit ton of slugs here. And now we shall withdraw the weapon. And boop, there it goes. Oh, wow. Got the name wrong multiple times in this so in this game. It's the large sword of moonlight Not even the great sword of moonlight like I originally thought oh Geez, I thought I got invaded not realizing I had touched a blood stain Whoo This guy's just not ready for PvP yet come on Hell, I'm still only one quarter of the way through it. But I'll get Soul Brand. In I'm, you know, I've been saying this is the last episode of this playthrough. That's because I'm expecting to finish the playthrough in this episode. I mean, last episode, what did we do? We went through, let's see, we finished off the Archdemon in the Tower of Latria. We finished off the first area of the Valley of Defilement. And then we got this far, almost to the end of the second area of the Valley Defi of Defilement. And in reality, the Archdemon for this area isn't all that bad. Uh, it's primarily just an Archdemon fight. Like, you just walk in, and there's the Archdemon, and the end. 
get my second chance back up here. Why not? Did we deal with the big guys over here? Oh yeah, we already did do that. Uh, oh yeah, we had to to get up that way. Right, I'm, I'm remembering how this level's laid out. Oh, that's right, we haven't accessed the shortcut yet. That's the... That's the thing. That's the thing we got left here. Gotta deal with that shortcut. We'll go take care of that in a moment. Let's see, nobody getting up. Here's that old lady again. Actually, the one who's been asking us to buy stuff. Let's see what she has to say now, now that we're here. Hey, I know you. Yes, Won't you do. You buy something. My poor child is sick. He needs your help. Eh, I don't know, lady. Maybe. Or do I have any more royal lotus? Uh, I might I might buy some of that then actually. Oh yep, poison arrows. Look at the price on these though. Four hundred souls per poison arrow. Ah, freaking crazy. Oh, but then the Murden set is here too. Kind of a sexy looking set, really. I mean that helmet kinda looks really cool. I don't know. I guess the I guess it's really the helmet. <laughs> it's really the helmet that looks cool. But that's okay, we're not going to pick that up because we're going to get a much cooler set once we're done with the Archdemon here. Specifically, the Dark Silver set. It's very sexy. What do you got to say there, filthy woman? This place, it's a proper mound of rubbish. All I'll the say. of the world living or not ends up here. I thank the stars that I still have my boy. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty impressive that you've been able to keep a child alive in this area. Ever since the demon witch came here, everything has turned foul. This was a much better place before she came. I was the apple of every man's eye. You're here to rid us of her, aren't you? Well, don't show her any mercy. So, that's why she hates Lady Astraea. Because, apparently, she's prettier. Yup. She's... That's... That's... That's the reason why she's so angry. Kind of... I, I guess if you're, like, the only... One of the few people living in this area, you would get a little pissy if somebody else kind of walked in and... Got everybody else's attention, I guess? I don't know, it's... It... I... I don't like that that's what they went with, rather than giving her some other reason to hate Lady Astraea. I thank the stars. Oh. Yep, I thank the stars. Already. You still have your boy, you too. Penny Pincher. Just like the children of the poor die, is that it? Oh, so, so harsh. Dang. Sheesh, lady. Can't, can't believe that some of your wares just aren't that good. Man. Oops. Bad guys. That's okay. They're easy to... They're easy to deal with. Hey, look. Bad guys. Hidden bad guys. That really don't show up until... Whoa! More bad guys. Those bad guys in that little hut, though, they don't really show up until you walk past the hut. And then they're like, Oh, we're gonna jump behind you and ambush you. Arr. We're evil bad guys. And for some reason, pirates. Not sure why I made them pirates. But somehow it worked out in my head that they're pirates. Arr. You, oh, 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 geez, it's one of those. It's one of the uh, shamans. Cast the poison fog. And I really don't want to deal with that. I'm already... Oh, backstab. I didn't even know there was a bad guy there. Okay, now I gotta remember how to access the shortcut. I know it's eventually I gotta take a right. Damn, camera. Please stay out of the ceiling so that I can see where I'm going. Okay, it's not this way. This section becomes a bit of a maze. I won't lie. Or at least a little confusing. And I apologize for the camera being super jittery. 
That is... I am sorry. Hey, look, another guy. Surprise! Surprise, backstab. Stop that. So we can head down... I think we can head down this way, or this is a way... This is like the, the other route you could take in the swamp to get to here. Like you take go the way, go around to the right. Uh, let's see. I'll work my way through here. No bad guys in any of these huts. There's a bad guy. There's no more a bad guy. A couple of bad guys. You know, I should stop applying such a label to these these creatures. They're not. They're probably really not bad. They're just really pissy that I've invaded their territory. Ow. You know, really, they just want to be left alone. They just want to be left alone in their misery. Okay, that way gets me out of here. See, look at that. There are those four torches. The four torches you could see from, like, the other end of the swamp with, you know, so From was giving you just a little bit of an indication of where you needed to go. You know, giving you the general direction that you needed to travel. But now we are on our way back to the shortcut. Getting ourselves a little bit, you know, just in case. Honestly, it's, it's really just in case. I hope I don't, oh geez, I hope I don't have to use it. But, you never know. It may be necessary. There's even a crystal lizard along this path. But only, like, right at where the shortcut is. Ah! Stupid mosquitoes. Please get away from me. I just don't want to have to deal with getting knocked off this ledge again. Uh, I forgot. There are just a bunch of these. Get away. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the... Oh, of course. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm gonna leave my bow out so I can shoot down more of these mosquitoes, and then I almost get rushed right off the edge by a dredgling. Where is this? this is, as you can see, it's a very long... It's a long shortcut. But crazy enough, it's it's still faster. It's still faster than going through the swamp. Because you could actually, if you wanted and you were brave enough, you could actually sprint. I am not brave enough. Oh, I've, I already alerted the crystal lizard. And as you saw, it just kind of went over the edge. Well, damn. And here it is. There's the shortcut. Look at that. Just take a walk across that little bridge. Put you right back at the beginning. How crazy is that one? That one, that is one of the shortcuts I think that was kind of like the best shortcut because it, it felt like it took the most work to reach, but then was like the shortest shortcut ever. You know, that one was five steps away from the entrance, and if you take it, it puts you pretty much right where you know, it puts you on the path pretty much directly towards the boss. But you did have to go through almost the entirety of the level to get it. So I don't know. It's it's my opinion that it's one of the best shortcuts in this game. Other people, you, you might hate it just for those reasons. The fact that it, it really does take you the entire level. And if you've gone far enough to get... Yep, Sniper's Perch. That's what I figured he was going to say. That if it took you so long to actually get it, you know, that you had to go through the entire level, then almost, then you kind of wonder what was the point of accessing it in the first place. Meh. I still think it was very much worth it. Even though we are probably going to absolutely decimate this boss... I still think it was totally worth. Worth. Bye, buddy. Sorry. Sorry. I knew you were going to try to backstab me, so I, I had to kill you.
It's 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 nothing personal. It's just business. And here we go. We're now at the boss. The dirty colossus. Look at that guy. Look at the size of it. Now, this this boss actually has a pretty interesting mechanic. Because if you notice, there are these torches all over the place, right? Yeah. Well, there's, well, they're not really torches. They're more like fires. If you notice, that thing just fires bugs. And, oh god, I'm now covered in bugs. And I'm kind of slowed. I'm taking damage over time. Oof. But look at that. Walk into the fire, no more bugs. Kind of crazy, huh? Honestly, I think that's so cool. You get covered in bugs, just run into the fire and burn them all off. Uh huh. I wanted to, I did get to show you a little bit too that this thing is covered in, you know, makeshift armor. Ow! Oh! Damn it. That was actually unintentional this time. Boof. <laughs> Ow. Oh, are you... Oh, crap. Okay, now I'm... Okay, I'm getting caught out a lot more now. Okay. This, this is actually... This is actually becoming a bit of a problem. I'm gonna actually have to eat some grass. Okay. Oh. Uh, and I... Oh, wow. I did not get hit by the bugs. If you notice, he's got some makeshift armor on him. And as you beat the crap out of him, more of that stuff breaks off. Another little nifty design for this boss. Just another, it's a, it's a small thing, but it's, whoa. Hey now, you stop that. Asshole. Smash me in the face like that. Seriously, I thought I had timed that right to avoid it too, but apparently not. All right, now we are back to full, and we are now going to pick up that archstone. Well, pick up the demon's soul at the archstone. I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna go back to the nexus. There's, I mean, there's there's essentially no point. We might as well just push right on through, right on through to the other side. I don't know why I got onto this ladder. I forgot that I can't slide down this ladder. <laughs> and the, the, the fall isn't high enough to really, you know, really warrant not dropping. So here we head on to the Archdemon, the great Saint Astraea. And okay, I do have Widow's Lotus in my inventory right now that may become relevant later but we're gonna get some fun dialogue well after this cutscene we'll get some fun dialogue and realize that we are horrible horrible people for coming here But that mass of bodies shows you that we are not the first people to come here either. That we are not the first to attempt to slay Lady Astraea. Or perhaps that is the entire group of people that they had originally come with down to this valley. Go not forth, quite sure which. May you be unharmed. And either version, whether that was their entire traveling party, or if that's the amount of people that have tried to slay her, either way, it proves that Garl Vinland is an absolute badass, either because he's beaten all those people, or because he's survived longer than any of them. Leave us, slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary for the lost and the wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please, leave quietly. 
Well, I cannot do that, for I must slay all of the archdemons to unlock access to the old one. Now, if you notice, all of these dredglings, they don't seem to care about me right now. And, in fact, they won't unless I actually harm Lady Astraea. Now, one thing... I don't think I can see her from here. Well, you can see that dot way out there. And that would be that would be Lady Astraea. Now, over here, there's Garl Vinland. I think just for the game's sake to make this fight not horrible he stops over here he doesn't he doesn't come forward any more than that now sadly we are going to kill these dredglings because the moment i damage lady astraya these will all of them and as you can see there's some over there on the right they will all try to huh I just backstabbed the guy that was standing over here when I was standing behind this. Wow, amazing. Anyway, they will all try to murder me. The moment I touch Lady Astraea, they will try to kill me. So it's just best to get rid of them now. And I'm not going to bother with that crystal lizard. Not even in the slightest. What I may do, just to show you. Stab. Stab. Alright, leave one of them. Stab. Because I'm moving up towards a very nice little sniper spot. And if you notice, Garl Vinland's already backed off. Essentially anticipating you trying to snipe Lady Astraea. Wow, that shot went way off. But unfortunately, he is not very good at the physics and understanding how that would work. But look at this. This guy now wants to kill me. And as I move away, I think Garl will follow again. And he'll end up back, kind of sitting back there. Now, the one thing is, there are two sets of dialogue for this fight. You know, there's the dialogue if you kill Lady Astraea first. There is the dialogue if you kill Garl Vinland first. We will end up killing Garl Vinland first, but I believe there's some extra dialogue you get for just kind of damaging her um, first. So let's see what we get here. Okay, I'll just miss... I mean, she's really, you know, she's a really tough enemy to hit with all of her motions and her dodging and her movement. You know, my god, it's it's so hard. Mm. She might not... Well, you know what? Because we're doing such little damage to her anyways, we can slowly take her down to various, you know, levels of damage. This is our home. We have done no harm to you. Notice that. Notice that she healed herself. And I don't think I ever noticed that in ever, any other time I fought her. But, uh, yeah, apparently that's what happens. Get her down just enough. Looked like about 25%. And she will heal herself. And we'll try this one more time and see if we get more dialogue. Huh. Nothing. I've been quiet just as... I, I didn't want to interrupt any of it. Doesn't seem like there's going to be any more. Okay. Well, sadness. I mean, there's enough sadness to go around for this fight anyways. I mean, the whole... The whole thing is just... They're just... She's just pleading with us to not interfere, to not mess with her, to... And not even in the, don't mess with me or I'll kill you thing. In just the, no, please leave us alone. We just want to be here to help. We don't 
we don't wish to cause any trouble, you know, and yet you hear you come being like, no, you're bad. You are an archdemon, and I shall now slay you. Oh, I think I may have gotten Garl stuck. Damn it. That's a little bit of... Okay, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, that boy's... Now, a couple of things about what Garl's talking about there. One, you're in the Dark Silver set. Humble life you do not lead. I mean, well, maybe now you lead a humble life, but humble life you did not leave at the time. Please. That set, it's called Dark Silver. Don't, don't give me that garbage. But second, they make that comment about you have abandoned us long ago. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And you gotta wonder, they're supposed to be talking to you, right? Because they're telling you to back off. Or, I mean, your character. But then they make that comment about how you abandoned them a long time ago. And it's almost, now that I'm thinking about it, like, woohoohoo, dodging. Like, they've recognized that the god they worshipped, because it's the same as... Saint Urbane, or it was, anyways, they realized that that god is actually the old one. And then they're looking at you as this great demon because you've killed so many, you know, creatures, you've killed so many monsters, you've acquired so many souls, that they're looking at you saying that, oh, hey, you are... You are uh, the embodiment of that which we once worshipped. And, ooh, got hit. And you, dickhead, you left us to rot years ago. Just just leave us alone. Just, just stop. Just stop bothering us. Just let us heal and give these people a sense of hope. That's really all that they're doing down here. I mean, Australia is... Just trying to help these people, these creatures that are here, deal with the fact that they are stuck here and living in this horrible, horrible place. So really, they it's kind of a question of are they actually doing anything evil? And most sources say no. Most sources say that they are doing they are they are doing good work down here. It just happens that they you know that Australia had to evolve past just being a human and become a demon to perform the work that she wishes to do here. You know, much like Sage Frake had said that there are some there are some humans who have evolved past their lowly station to become demons. And I think that is what Astraya has done here, is become a demon so that she can better serve people in the valley and help them. But none of that matters because we are evil or we are good or, well, we are soul-eating demons so we shall kill both of them. Ha ha ha! Suck it, girl! Oh God! Yes, you have. You are a horrible knight. Woo, dark silver stuff. I wonder how much of this I can actually wear before it burdens me. I'm not a big fan of the helmet, but the armor itself is pretty sweet. What's my... Okay, equip burden is almost maxed just from that. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. That just that just looks so cool. I love the angles. I love oh, I love the design for the dark silver set. Again, though, I'm not a big fan of the helmet. I don't know. The helmet just looks really goofy to me. 
can I put on? Nope. Cannot put on any any more of it right now. Uh, let's get the widow's lotus together because this. I, wow. <laughs> Holy jeebus. Yeah, that that uh. Yeah, you'll catch the plague uh, damn fast. And plague is like toxic in other games, so it kills you really, 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 really fast. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Look at that health just chunking away. And notice I have the adjudicator shield. Sure, it's not maxed out. And I have the regenerator's ring on me. And I am still losing health rapidly. Yeah, plague sucks. Well, Astraya, I killed Garl. You, you gonna be okay? I mean, notice this too. This is an archdemon. This is a boss. And what do we get to do? We actually get to talk to them. You. You killed him, didn't you? Yeah. Very well. I can no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. And there you have it. Distraught by the loss of her... Her guardian. Distraught by the fact that... This... This murderer of demons... Is a little bit blind and... In following orders to murder demons. And just kind of... Will just go and do it. She kills herself. She says, "You have killed my, you have killed my companion of my entire life, essentially." Fine. Then here you go. Here is my my soul. Blech. Kind of. There's there's very little way to go through this particular boss fight and not feel like a giant dick. But we're going to move past it. We will move past it, as is with all things. Now you can see that there's a bunch of stuff out there, right? You can see all those lights, so there are items out there. Yeah, none of that is, especially for me, especially for the build I'm using, absolutely pointless, not going out there. It's all plague-ridden. Don't want to deal with it. And you've also got the undead babies that you got to fight. And they're infinitely spawning and just forget it. They're creepy. It's gross. Just don't do it. Just don't bother. Let's touch that. Let's get the pure blood demon soul and the ring of sincere prayer. And let's get out of here. Let's, let's just go. And now the old one is accessible. The seal to the old one has been broken. And now we will be able to head down there. Soon. Soon. Uh, what do I need to do? First, we can read the rings, the ring of sincere prayers, description. Oh yeah, I can't believe I've been wearing the cling ring and I'm in human form. That's, well, that's, I'm, I'm a genius. Ooh, and I have a miracle on me, so I can actually show this. So this raises miracle power and casting time. It increases miracle power and vulnerability time while casting miracles. Said to have once been found by a young sixth saint Astraya as one of the revelations of God. Well, we're going to put that on. And we're going to cast second chance. So... Yeah, it raises it raises miracle power, but it does increase casting time a lot. So it's a good trade-off. Like if you really wanna if you really wanna have some strong miracles, go nuts. 
But uh, just be ready for taking forever. Boo! Praise the sun! Yeah, can you believe that? They freaking put that... That was in Demon's Souls, and then that became, you know, huge in Dark Souls. They brought it back into there, but it's only with this one single item. Only when you're wearing this ring do you ever see that animation in this game. How freaking cool is that? I love it. I love that they did that. Ah, uh, let's see. What do I need to wear? I don't know. I guess... Oh, here we go. Wear that. And I can wear this. Because honestly, I got nothing... I mean, there's really nothing else to do right now. There is just the... Just to close out... You know, talk to Stockpile I Thomas. Give him... All of our stones. Uh, broken sword, because we're not using it. The large sword of moonlight, we're not using it. Merton hammer, not using it. Now that we have the dark silver shield, we're not using the dark heater shield because the dark silver shield has 100% physical and 100% magic damage reduction. Yes, it just comes with that. The only thing that you then do when you upgrade it is increase its stability. The dark silver shield of the Vinland legacy. Known as the oldest of metals, the dark silver is said to purify dark malice. It protects the user from all types of spells. I mean, there, there you have it. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic shield in this game. So freaking good. Uh, yeah, not wearing the helmet. Let's read the helmet's description real quick, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, too. Dark silver set is male only. Ugh, again. Glad they got rid of that in the subsequent games. A dark silver helmet from Vinland. The impressive parietal design represents the sacred tree of both houses. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regeneration. There you go, you can take that back. Yeah, I won't be wearing the black leather. I think the dark silver... Um, let's see. Yeah, Dark Silver Gauntlets from Vinland. The Dark Silver is known to be the oldest metal in the land and is said to exorcise malice. Their heaviness slightly impedes stamina regeneration. Let's see, we can give up one of these regenerator rings because we obviously don't need to carry both of them. Uh, all of these are different rings. We can get rid of a thief's ring. We all right, thanks, Stockpile Thomas. Wait, am I wearing a ring that actually lets me... What is this? This is my item burden. Isn't there one that's a quip burden? Isn't there? Shoot, I think I've forgotten that there isn't one for equip burden. Darn. Well... Alright, I might as well then just put on the thief's ring. Let's see, who else do we need to speak to? Oh, we could... Let's take a look at my character tendency. I th think... Jeez, I should... I should check my weapon. My weapon will tell me. Again, I'm still not a... I think I'm still not a pure. Hmm. The reason why I ask and look at that is because... I'm gonna go talk to the monumental. Because the monumental, if I'm at pure white character tendency, will give me a special ring. Am I gonna use this special ring... Maybe? I don't know. It is a special ring, and as such, why not? Might as well try to grab it now, while I'm remembering. We've certainly all seen that my memory can be a little flaky. Hey, Monumental. I've, uh, I've done lots of stuff. You got any new dialogue for me? You have destroyed all of the demons. Yes, I have. You soon shall hear the call of the Old One. Then the Candle Maiden shall guide you below the Nexus, where the Old One awaits. She will lull the Old One back to slumber. That is, after all, her purpose. Okay. 
That sounds like a good plan. Do you have a ring for me? You have destroyed. You soon nope, you don't. Oh, yep. I'm I'm not at full uh, not a pure white. Damn. But I was such a good person. I did so many good things. Why does everybody hate me? Oh, jeez. Why am I still carrying the adjudicator shield? That's ridiculous. Cool. Can still do that though. You know what else is awesome? Yeah, you can parry with the dark silver shield. Woo! Let's see. I'm trying to think about anybody else who might have some fun dialogue to listen to now that we've, we've, you know, beaten everything. Hmm. I don't think there is anybody. But we'll take a look. We'll swing around to Sage Frake. You have your wits about you. Why? You have defeated all the demons, have you not? Yes, I have. This ghastly howl. The Monumental has spoken of it before. There is a question I have long had in my mind. What's that? It is whether we are right to banish the Old One. And I now have the answer. And it is a resounding no. Listen closely. The Old One must not be cut off from us. If the Candle Maiden tries to entrap it, kill her. Then absorb the souls of the Old One for yourself. The Old One is an unfathomable deposit of energy. It contains all the souls collected by the demons. You will gain the power of a king. And I will gain knowledge from beyond. And that, my dear friend, is the righteous path. You must not allow trifling matters to dissuade you. The demon souls shall be ours. If truth be told, that woman has been tainted by demons herself. She would thank you in her death for relieving her agony. Oh, right. I am yes. I can still of course. Of course, Sage Frake. Don't worry. I will totally let the old one survive because you don't want to be cut off from the soul arts anymore. God forbid <laughs> you don't have access to your magic anymore. Yeah, so Sage Frake kind of becomes a a bit of a a bit of a bad guy and says, no, 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 no. Let's let's leave the old one alive. No, no. I, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying my power now. Um, can can I have more, please? Yes, you 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 leave the old one alone, um, and I will become uh, stupidly powerful. It'll be great. Please do that. Okay, thanks. Bye. Are you certain you wish it would honor me? Are you sure? What do you got for me, Yoria? Anything new? I feel great misgivings about Frake. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was branded a witch at a very young age, and since then. I have been persecuted as a threat to human society. Although I never had ill intentions, this black craft of mine is intrinsically evil. If there is a god, he gave us souls to do good, not to practice witchcraft. My accusers detested my dark arts for good reason, for the path I have taken is tainted. This has been one of my realizations since coming to Boletaria. But I am afraid that Frake, too, has ventured down the wrong path. He has become obsessed with the dark arts. I agree. If you are ever in need, it is a dark art. I agree, Yuria. Uh, it, and I love it. I love it that Yuria kind of comes to realize that, yeah, maybe my use of the souls was not the best way to do this because it's a little bit corrupting and it might be yeah just not not the nicest way to use these things and you have over there sage frake was like um no no um this is this is awesome now no please don't please don't get rid of this i i want more i want more more power please more more you know and yuria's who originally started as the bad one she was the bad witch you know, and Sage Frake was this beacon of reason and logic, and oh, he's so wonderful. And now they've kind of flipped. I love it. 
Look at that. Character development and NPCs. Who knew that could be possible? It's amazing. All right, Urbane. What is your dialogue, if you have any? Oh, is that you again? Do you have fur? Uh... From where does that howl come? That is no demon. It sounds more like a poor, hungry child. Do you have any idea what it might be? Yeah, it's the old Something one. Something about it puts me at great unease. May God watch over us, bless us, and all of Boletaria. Mbasa. Mbasa. Yes, I see. I certainly... Mmm, Basa. Yep. The old one, sounding like a poor, hungry child. Interesting idea, Saint Urbane. What a what an interesting, interesting idea. You don't say. All right, Maiden in black. What's up? Hark, I hear voice of your. Me too. The old one is calling for thee. I can believe that. Let us proceed below to its lair. Okay. Wait, what? No, wait. Ah, whoa! Why aren't we using a ladder? Oh, right, because it would take us five years to get down here. Man, that lighting, I tell ya. Holy cow. And here comes our face-to-face -face meeting with the old one. Look at all those various, I'm guessing, seals. I'm guessing they're symbols and, and that are meant to be like magical seals. But look at the, Old just one, all of them. I have brought thee what thou wishest, thy new demon. Come now, be good. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. This is the thing that has been collecting all of the souls that its demon minions have been, you know, getting for it. Essentially, that all the demons have been killing to feed this. You know, I think Sage Frake forgets that. <laughs> So here we are in some area that the game kind of suggests was under the Nexus. But in reality, I think a, a lot of people believe that it's really just a portal that you fall through from the Nexus into this portal that accesses this area. And that's something else I love. If you, if you noticed how the Maiden in Black got us down here, it was very, it, it's kind of in a, like a playful way where she turns to you and she just go, and she kind of, I always feel like she's got this smile where she's like, ha ha ha, wee, let's go. You know, and she kind of pulls on you, she falls backwards and I don't know, it's always seemed like a playful gesture to me, which I guess ties, you know, well into how the maiden seems to act every once in a while, like when she's sitting on the stairs and she's kicking her feet. Mm, those small things that you notice. I like it. And if you noticed how she spoke to the old one, where she said, come on, be good. Again, handling the old one like a child. Just, 
Ah, oh, so many cool things that I don't completely understand either. Or at least, I'm not entirely sure what they all mean. You know, there are many theories that could, that could apply. And I love it. Oh, right, I've been meaning to talk to you. Let us proceed below to its lair. Wait, what? We're already... Proceed below? We're already here. We fell below. Let us proceed. What are you talking about? Are we gonna go further down? Looks like we're just gonna go over now. Hmm. Interesting choice of dialogue there. Look at all these trees. You have been chosen by the old one. Shalt thou seek everlasting demon souls? Or obey that naive monumental? Whatever your choice. You are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. That's just an interesting statement to say that we are the first visitor, but it's been said through some of the story that there have been multiple, like, uh, multiple demons for the old one, like multiple head demons for the old one. Heck, it's even been suggested that the Maiden in Black might have been the old one's, like, head demon, like, main, main squeeze, to say. So it's kind of funny that they, they would say, this, you're our first visitor. I don't know if that's really a lie or not. Surely you have seen for yourself. Oh, hello. Suffering that fills this world. The faith poisons with poisons. God is merciful. And so created the old one. The old one will feed upon our souls and put an end to our tragic value of existence. So here is the mighty King Alant. This is what he has become. He has been corrupted. beyond anything recognizable. And if you notice, there is Soul Brant in its arm thing. And it can, ow, it, see, it can actually do damage to you. Um, but this was really meant to just show what the old one has done to the king, what has happened now that the king essentially, like, he was saying, like King Alant was saying, succumbed to the idea that our world is irredeemable and we might as well just let the old one take over and kill everything. We might as well just let the demons win. So by the end of this, this kind of becomes a game of the survival of the human race. Like just as a, and I guess that's what it was always about after I said that and realized, wow, that sounded really stupid. Uh, but it's more that somebody else, you know, somebody else in power said, you know what, I think we're all hosed. So forget this, I'm gonna let the world burn because I think the world needs to burn. And this is what happened to him. This is what happened to that very person that thought that. So you think I'm gonna either have the everlasting demon souls or obey the naive monumental? Well, if ever having everlasting demon souls turns me into that, I think I'm gonna obey the naive monumental. So, here we go, buddy. Bap. 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 Yeah, we're, we're gonna murder you instead, and, and we're gonna let the old one go back to sleep because I'd rather go back to our more humans are killing humans realm of existence than this version where demons are killing humans. Come here. Come here. I don't want to take the chance that somehow you glitch out into the environment and I can't pick up demon brant from your corpse. So at least with the false King Alant, you get a sense of what he used to look like. You fool. Don't 
to the sand. No one wishes to go on. How do you know that? How do you know that, King Aland? Because I wish to go on. You don't speak for me, asshole. And here we go. Soulbrand. So now we're about halfway done with this build. And sadly, I cannot leave. So I do not get to turn this into the Northern Regalia right away. And look, so here's here is Demon Brand. Here's my power right now for an attack rating for Demon Brand. Soul Brand. Yes, it is in the exact polar opposite for character tendency. If I was closer to pure evil or pure black character tendency, it would be the other way around. Kind of fun. I like that. And that's why the Northern Regalia is either direction, pure white or pure black and you'll get your maximum bonuses. Soulbrand, the soul-rending blade passed down through the Boletaria royal family. It is a black blade that forms a matching set with Demon Brand. After Alant rose to the throne, it was always in the king's hands. Old King Alant favored the blade, for the way its power increased, the more demonic the wielder's soul became. Once again, some more proof that King Alant was actually a total jackass. And here we have the final cutscene. Thine work is done. Well, maybe penultimate cutscene. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. And here's where you get your choice. You can either take the the path that King Alant would rather you take, the path that Sage Frake would rather you take, or the path that Yuria and the Monumental and just about everybody else who is human and wishes to live would rather you take. So instead, So instead, you take the path out. And that's essentially the quote-unquote good ending. And again, some more dialogue that's a little strange to me. That the Maiden in Black says, at last, at last, my duty is fulfilled. But it's... I figured it was stated later, earlier on that she's done this at least once before. Or that that is her job. But maybe that's just to highlight how long it's been since the last time she's done this or needed to do this. So, we're going to take the exit fog option, and that will be the good ending option. And then we will be placed right into New Game Plus. We'll do a little bit more uh, signing out type stuff, and yeah, here we go. Oh, doesn't go straight to the cutscene. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha! Egg on my face. There we go. The old one, along with the maiden, were swept back into the lulling fog. Boletaria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. That would be me. <laughs> A brave new hero. Of unprecedented power. 
That's right. Unprecedented power. I always feel a little good after hearing that, that you turn into the monumental or a monumental and now you're super powerful. It's like, oh, yay. Awesome. And here come the credits. There we go. And something even funnier is, or cooler, I really should say, is that the credits are different depending on the ending you choose. So right now, we're cycling through the various boss demons that we have slain. Well, that's because we chose the good ending, or the become a monumental, lull the old one back to sleep, lose the soul arts ending. If you instead choose to kill the maiden, as Sage Frake asks you, so that the old one cannot be lulled back to sleep, then you actually, in the credits, get to see various pictures of the NPCs. And I think that's kind of done in a way to say, like, look, here are all the people you have now doomed to death. You have condemned them to their own deaths. Way to be a total asshole. It's just a very cool thing. It's, it's a small, another small, very cool thing that I like. Now, I cannot remember if we can actually speed through these. So you know what? I'm just going to say no and let you all enjoy the music and the artwork. You know, I never quite understood why you get the Maiden in Black soul for the good ending. I mean, for every other boss demon, you get that demon's soul after you beat it, but for the good ending, you don't kill the Maiden in Black. If you go for the bad ending and actually kill the Maiden, you instead get the beast's demon's soul. I guess it was a show that for the good ending, the Maiden sacrifices herself to lull the old one to sleep, and for the bad ending, you replace the old one, which I guess requires you to kill the old one. 
those are just my theories about the endings. Actually, I'd love to hear what your theories are about the two endings. So please feel free to leave a comment and kind of join in in that discussion. So I guess this is going to wrap things up for this particular playthrough. The next time you'll see this character, he'll be level 120-ish with two northern regalias and ready to jump into the PvP realm to get wrecked. <laughs> Thank you everyone for taking this journey with me. It has been a blast. I love Demon's Souls. We started from uh, quite humble beginnings, huh? The videos weren't even in HD, if you can remember that. Ugh. It's been almost a whole year since we started, and you all are awesome for hanging out with me through all of the adventures we've had. Seriously, you guys are great. Thank you so much again, everybody, for sticking with me and hanging out. It has been excellent. I hope you have all enjoyed these times, too. Obviously, I want to make sure you guys are all enjoying this as much as I am. I am the Perpetual Noob. And I hope to see all of you again soon.